Good morning, welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. We're going to tie a uh, Stickles Solar Flare Variation. It's a mouthful. This gentleman is on Spay Pages and uh, has this pattern and uh, gave me permission to mess with it a bit. So we're going to start out with a micro tube and a hook guide. Put your hook guide on first, slide the micro tube in. Next we're going to put on a uh, drop weight. Get our thread started on here. I'm using um, Vivas ADOT this morning. First of all, we're going to do is we're going to take some Arctic Fox and cut a little bit of that off of the skin here. Get some of the under hair out and spin this in a loop. What I like to do is bring my fingers, slide them down the tips and get the really long stuff out so I keep it kind of even. And then I will trim that all to length. Create my loop. Wax my thread. Get my dubbing whirler. Lay in my Arctic Fox. Spread it out evenly. And then give her a good spin. If you don't have one of these dubbing whirlers, uh, get your hands on one because they are an awesome tool and I'm going to use it a lot today on videos. And then I take a uh, brush here and brush this out real good. And then I'm just going to take this and wrap it. And as I come around, I'm going to brush these fibers back because I want them to stand up. They're going to make this material that I tie in front of it really stick out. Okay, so we've got our dubbing loop there. All finished in our Arctic Fox. Now you can take your brush and brush this a little bit more just to get everything flared out and standing perfect. I'm just going to run my thread up on there and get that where I need it. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to take, um, Montana Fly Company has got some barred ostrich out now, and it's a little finer than your standard ostrich, but not quite to this, uh, what Rhea is. I'm going to take my pedaging tool here and just take that and slide it up and over the fibers, clamp it down, hold it in place, bring my scissors up here and just cut that and then I'll stand these out just the way I want them. I'm going to trim them down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to set this down for a second. Make another loop. Wax it. Dubbing whirler. And then you can just take this and just lay it right into the in between the thread. Let go. Pull tight. There we go. And stroke these fibers a little bit as things come around and get them sticking out a little bit. Give them one more good spin to really cinch it in there and then start wrapping this around and you're going to be playing with these fibers as you do this because you want them to lay back and you don't want to pin them down. Okay, I'm going to take my thread around that, put a couple wraps on. And then I will take my comb again and just comb all this stuff out to make sure it's all laying back nice and neat. Got one little, there we go, I broke loose. Now if that doesn't look like it's going to swim. Okay, so now I've got that on there. And then we're going to take and run two strands of... Um, 
lateral scale flashaboo. Now this stuff is kind of like the Mirage, but it's got a crinkle to it. So it's prismatic in the water. And we lay one on one side, one on the other, and then just fold back the other piece. So you're just tying it in like it's looped in. And then I'll pull that back so it's slightly longer than the ostrich. <clears throat> and then next what I do is I take and we're going to put a pair of hackle tips in here and this is just um, whiting bugger pack in purple and we want to figure out how long we want that so I'm going to pull back these fibers you want these to swim so I'll pinch slightly in front of it strip the fibers off lay that on top Make sure those wings are set pretty good there. And they're splayed. I think you can see that there. They're splayed. Trim that. And then <clears throat> next we're going to put a guinea hackle on there. And I've already prepped this feather. It's got the curve. I pulled the fibers back. The tip's there. The tip is there. I'm just going to trim that off. Tie it with the curved side down. Grab my hackle pliers here. Stroke this material back just like I've showed before, making it a collar. Here's the beautiful thing about tubes, that is a gnarly looking head at this point, but I'm going to cover all that up. <clears throat> Next I'm going to take a little bit of super glue, actually zap a gap. Super glue lets too much fumes, it turns everything white when you use it. Put that on the thread there and just wrap this around. Cut my thread. slide the head over which is a pro tube pro cone. Next I'm going to slide all this off. Okay, And you can just cut this which is what I'm going to do. Normally I use a razor blade but my um, scissors are pretty sharp. And then I'm going to take this blue part of the flame, hit it a couple times, the hole's still there. And there we have the solar flare in a purple and pink variation.